We've ridden through miles and miles and miles of rice paddy fields that were very beautiful. And uh, we've seen a lot of historic, amazing, very different places. And I've learned an awful lot from our very fine trip leader. And uh, it's all just quite fascinating. We can do it together. You can receive the blessing together and then I'll put it. This morning we went to the temple to witness alms giving to the monks. And it was very interesting. My understanding is that the monks are, have to rely on the food that they are given for their sustenance and so they leave the temple in the morning and people come to them to provide food. I think it's very humbling. They live a very unique way of living. I like their philosophy that they believe in kindness. They don't believe in monetary things. It was just amazing to me how many people are up there giving. And some of them are giving uh, financial donations, and a lot of them are buying the flowers and incense and doing that part as their devotion. And it shows that there's a lot of, a lot of Buddhists that are really practicing Buddhism, I think, in the way it's meant to be. Good morning, everyone. We say Sawadhi in Thai. Sawadhi, Sawadhi Kram. I entered to the monkhood when I was 14. I felt the, a, a great strength coming from the monk in his convictions about Buddhism. So to achieve Nirvana is not the body but mind inside. People live in very poor condition. It doesn't mean that they suffer so much. The inside the mind might be more peaceful. OAT has by far the best guides, and Ray has been amazing. Uh, I mean, he gives you such an intelligent view of what's going on, and it's so rich in its depth. We have no gauge to measure the happiness of the people. Otherwise, we can check that how happy you are. <laughs> Put the, uh, the thermometer or something, you know. <laughs> he brings a lot of insight into. Uh, the everyday lifestyle of, of Thailand, being uh, a monk himself at one time. Buddhism is a way of life in, in Thailand. It's one of the Buddhist countries. And uh, we were taught, even we didn't go to school from generation to generation, but especially I stay in the temple for many years as a temple boy and then ordained as a novice monk for six years. Again, you know, ordained as a fully monk for another year. So I learned so much of Buddhism in, in the temple and also in school. I think he's fabulous. And I think he's so fabulous that a year ago, so we went to Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia, and Ray was our guide. And he has continued to impress us and everybody else that's, I think, that's on the tour. The Buddhist, it is said, B.E., Buddhist era. In Thailand, apart from the, uh, the different culture, we have the way of life of the people and the easy way of life. We are pretty uh, relaxed 
Uh, we are not really rushing. I enjoy meeting the people and I enjoy meeting them in their, on their territory, in their home. We are going to have a home hosted meal, which means a local family, there will be a group of six in each home. Usually they're very open and will answer any questions that you have for them about maybe their house, where they go grocery shopping, how they prepare the food. Yeah, the second one is fried bean sprouts with glass noodles. The second, a third one will be chicken with red curry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and uh, if you have any question, please don't try to ask me. I'm very happy. When we post, we say Chayo. Chayo. C-H-A-I-Y-O. Chayo. Very unique, no? Each one. <laughs> if you want to try, I serve you a small shot that you can bring people to the meal. Yeah. So our point is to introduce the people to eat what the local people eat. To do what the local people do. That's the best way to help changing their life. If you want adventure and discovery almost every day, something going on. We've traveled with other companies, and Oat does the most of that type of stuff. I think the, the biggest surprise for me was seeing all the stupas, temples. It was magnificent.